For a Poisson process with a arrival rate lambda equals 30 customers per hour, find the expected number of arrivals in the first 10 minutes of an hour. Well, for part A here, and we'll come to B, C, and D later, for part A, we already have a problem. And the problem is we have differences in units. And this comes up quite often in Poisson processes. So we've got to decide whether to use minutes or hours. And you can use either, it doesn't matter. But I'm going to go ahead and decide to call these 10 minutes 1 -sixth of an hour. So we want the expected number of arrivals in the first 1 -sixth of an hour. And so for part A, we're going to define the random variable x to be the number of arrivals in the first 10 minutes. And of course, the first 10 minutes we're going to think of as the first 1 -sixth of an hour because we've decided on hours as our units. We're going to get the same answer either way but we're going to go with hours here. In this particular case we know from the previous slide that x has the Poisson distribution because we have a Poisson process and the parameter in that Poisson process will be lambda times the width of the interval. So our lambda here is 30 customers per hour and the width of our interval is 1 -sixth of an hour so this is the same as saying x has a Poisson distribution with a parameter of 30 sixths, which is the same as 5. The probability mass function in this case, since, since our parameter in the Poisson is 5, is going to be 5 to the x power e to the minus 5 divided by x factorial. And that probability mass function is good for 0, 1, 2, etc. Now remember, x is the number of arrivals in the first 10 minutes. And so here is its probability mass function. What we want in part A here is the expected number of arrivals in those first 10 minutes. So we want E of x. And E of x for the Poisson distribution, we derived that earlier. That is just the parameter which in this case is 5. So we expect 5 arrivals in the first 10 minutes. That should make sense. If there's 30 over the course of an hour, then we expect, if we're looking at 1 -sixth of an hour, we expect 5 customers per hour. So the intuition matches up there. Now for part B, we want to find the probability of exactly 4 arrivals in the first 10 minutes of an hour. So since we're still working with the first 10 minutes, we still have 1 -sixth of an hour and it turns out the, the distribution of the number of arrivals in those first 10 minutes has this particular distribution and x is still a Poisson random variable. So all of the setup we've done here in part A applies to part B and so on the next slide we'll go ahead and solve it. So for part B, we want the probability that there will be exactly four arrivals in the first 10 minutes. And that's the same as taking the probability mass function and evaluating it at 4. And so in this case, this is lambda, which is 5, raised to the fourth, e to the minus lambda, which is e to the minus 5, divided by x factorial, which is 4 factorial. And you can pound that out pretty easily on a calculator. When you do, you will get 0.1755. Now, if instead of using a calculator, you want to calculate this with an R statement, the appropriate statement here would be D, because that first letter D corresponds to a probability mass function, or in the next chapter, a probability density function. You put in Poiss for the Poisson distribution. First thing you do is you put in your x value, which is the 4. And then the second thing that you do is you put in your lambda value, and your lambda value is 5. And that's our statement right there. We'll come back with 0.1755. 
Now for part C, the question is, find the probability of four or fewer arrivals in the first 10 minutes of an hour. So we're still working with the first one-sixth of an hour. So x is defined exactly as it is before. But this time, instead of exactly four, we want four or fewer. So this time, we're going to be working with a cumulative distribution function. So to solve this, c is the probability that x is less than or equal to 4. And that is capital F of 4. And this can be written as a summation. It will be the summation from x equals 0 through 4. 0 is the bottom of the support of the Poisson distribution of f of x. And that will be the sum from x equals 0 to 4 of 5 to the x e to the minus 5 over x factorial. Now this one here is not quite so easy to calculate because now you have five different terms to add up. If you want to calculate this in R, this time you would go p pois. That first letter p, of course, tells you that you're looking at the cumulative distribution function. And you would put in the x value, which is 4, that you're interested in for the cumulative distribution function. And then you would put in your lambda value of 5. And when you do that, to four digits, you get 0 0.4405. So that takes care of parts b and c. Finally, when you look at part d, it now says we want the probability of 35 or more arrivals in an hour given that there were eight arrivals in the first 10 minutes of that hour. So on the next page, I'm going to go ahead and draw a time axis for part D. And here is time 0. And we're measuring this in hours. So I'll go ahead and put a 1 in there. Here is 10 minutes. So I'll count that as a 1 sixth. And we know that we had eight events in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we know we have eight in there. And the question is, what is the probability that there are 35 or more events total over the entire hour. Well, if we know that there were eight in here, that's the same as saying we would like the probability that there are 27 or more events over the last 50 minutes. Now, when this is the case, what we need to do is define a new random variable x. This is going to be different than x here, because x here was the number of arrivals in the first 10 minutes. We're interested in the distribution of events in the last 50 minutes. So let me go ahead and define x that way. This is the number of events or arrivals in the last 50 minutes, and our last 50 minutes of the hour is the last 5 6 of an hour. Now, in this case, the random variable x will be Poisson, and it will be Poisson with the rate overall, which is 30 customers per hour, multiplied by the width of the interval. Well, the width of the interval in this case is 5, 6. So keep in mind that this x right here is, or this random variable x, is different from the random variable x in the previous parts of the question a, b, and c. So 30 multiplied by 5, 6 gives you 25. So we know that x has a Poisson 25 distribution. And because of that, we know that the probability mass function will be 25 to the x 
e to the minus 25 divided by x factorial and that is for x equals 0, 1, 2, etc. This is the probability mass function of the number of arrivals in the last 50 minutes of the hour. So in this case we want the probability that x is 27 or more x is greater than or equal to 27 and that will be the summation from x equals 27 to infinity of f of x and that turns out to be the sum from x equals 27 to infinity of 25 to the x I'm just copying in the probability mass function e to the minus 25 divided by x factorial. Now that right there is certainly something you can't do by hand because the summation goes to infinity. So to calculate this the probability of 27 or more is 1 minus the probability of 26 or fewer and you know that PPOS of 26 will basically give you capital F of 26 and this is all done with a parameter of 25 and when you execute that R statement right there what you will get is 0 0.3706 and that's good to four decimal value decimal to four digits so there is the uh, our statement 1 minus PPOS of 2625.